look at this peoples this is Preston Innovations telescopic leg that's the inner piece you just see me take it out there and it's coming off if you look on this back here there is a, a, a thread sorry a screw on this side there's a rivet originally there's a rivet and a rivet but I'll put a screw in this side because this side kept popping off and now the rivet keeps popping off and yet the screw side still hasn't popped off so the first thing I'm going to do is take off the original repair because that's still working and as you can see all we did is we put a self tapper in and the secret was that the self tapper head was bigger than the hole so that it wouldn't come out this time we've got to put a self tapper in we've got a massive hole now so this side we're going to have a massive hole i've got to get rid of that so i'll drill out a second and then i'll find a self tapper out of my collection oh look there's a drill bit there broken off from when i last repaired it right i've got me a three and a half mil drill bit i'm just going to try drilling straight down the middle of the rivet whole thing spinning that and this is a problem that you get sometimes and the rivet will spin but hey it's popped it's broke look so three and a half mil just seems to have cleared it nicely that is a considerable size hole it's going to be quite a big thread to go into there so i've had a little look through my stash and i've got some bigger screws but the heads aren't even big enough for that and that is a really big size now so i'm going to end up having to put a washer on it it's just going to look big and ugly and bulky so the original rivet was in there and in there and now i'm just going to do two new ones and i can use these nice compact little little screws and get the job done nicely so what you've got to do is find a drill bit which is um you know just a little bit smaller than the thread that you've got these legs from preston are aluminium so they will um I'll take a self tapper no bother at all you ain't gonna get anything special or anything like that it's not like you're self tapping into a hard metal so i'm just gonna looks like that's already been drilled through that side so i might put a screw in there already just to hold it and then i'll drill through the other side and let's see how we get on might not be as easy as we think but let's have a look i'll try oh well, that's not the one i wanted i'll try using a screwdriver first because I'm not sure how much battery like my drill's got, so I don't want to waste it. The other reason that you want to use short screws is because they're going to go, they're going to, if they're too long, they'll meet in the middle and they'll stop each other from going in. So that's going up nicely. So he's on that side, just want to make sure that he's on before you start the drilling. Now the three and a half mil drill that was in there is too big. This one looks more like, it hasn't got a size that I can read on it, but I'd, I'd say it's more like two mil. You have to be very careful because they snap very easily as you can see from that previous. So I'm just gonna eyeball it. Screw that in nicely. It's got a and that is now back on secure. It's tidy, no big messy horrible lumps. You can see where it's got it got damaged previously. I wonder if this just as an extra belt and braces because there's already a hole there. I'll also this is from the original rivet hole. The one side that was in good order i'll just put a thread in there and that'll pull that in a little bit as well see that's pulled it in a little bit so now that's sorted 